Zapier has a new feature called Copilot Beta. We're going to check it out today, see if it's any good in our workflows and how we build our automations and everything of this nature. So I received an email from Zapier. I'm on their email mailing list. I'll go ahead and put a link to like their early access beta program down below. You just have to put your email in, have a Zapier account, and you'll get access to stuff like this early. That being said, I received this email like probably a couple days ago, but I wanted to check it out. No, this is not Copilot like Microsoft Copilot. I'm not too sure why the names are conflicting like that. This is their version of just having a chatbot helping you to build the automations. We've seen this in the past, but in the past, it was much more of a single prompt. So it was like a beta prompt or something like that, or AI prompt. This is more of a chatbot flow. Therefore, we're going to check it out today, see how I would use it, some of the disadvantages, advantages, some improvements, and everything that we can learn about this new feature called Copilot Beta. So the name of the game for this feature is it's going to allow us to build outlines of what type of automations we want to build. Also, if you don't even know who I am and this is your first time seeing me, hello, I am Corbin. And if you are just venturing into the world of automation, check out my playlist here. Go over a ton of stuff, especially when it comes to AI automation. That being said, it seems like the way in order to conversate with this kind of feature is for outlines. What do you mean by that, Corbin? Basically, you can't do stuff like this. Build me a automation for an AI article generator. It's not that advanced yet. As, you, as you'll see here, it's not going to be able to build out the flow. In reality, to build out an AI article generator, it's around 17 to 19 blocks. How do you know that? Because I built out one. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But the way you want to approach this more likely, and honestly, in the future, they probably will be able to do that, is going to be more in the context of providing as much dictation as possible. So let me give you another example here. Okay. Actually, let's build something else. Let me actually see if I can even conversate to it like this. Okay, perfect. We can. That's that's really nice. So if you want to change directions, we can do that live. I'm going to say, let's create a trigger that makes the flow go every single day. My name dictation. I want to then create a an AI image with OpenAI so the way we got to do this is we got to reference apps in order for it to know what we're even talking about when building out these outlines. Then we're going to say, then post on Instagram. So I'm going to hit that. And as you'll see here, we should, if I can type, get three blocks here. And if you're familiar with Zap, you already know it's going to be a scheduler. It's going to be an open AI block and it's going to be an Instagram block. There we go. And the way we kind of proceed from here is we can add these steps. Perfect. It gives us a nice outline. But there is another drawback as of now, as basically it still requires you to fill in some underlying data. Although it seems like it filled in a little bit of the trigger, but as you'll see, we got kind of a starting position, but then we're like, okay, well, this is good, but we also need a caption for the Instagram. So what we're gonna do here is gonna say, okay, can we also, now we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more y'all. Can we also uh, use a chat GBT block for the caption? Or the Instagram post. So notice how I'm referencing blocks. I have already kind of have a base understanding of the type of data we can even access. So chat GPT blocks, DALE. So to use Copilot, it really does seem like, I did get the order wrong a little here, but we can move it around. It does seem like you need to have some comprehension of blocks that exist or data points that exist within uh, Zapier. As of now, as I said earlier, we are still limited by the fact, I'm gonna choose my account. 83 zaps, y'all. That's insane. <laughs> okay, let me move over here. We are still limited by the fact that we do need to use our discretion for the prompts. And as you'll notice here, we need it for the discretion for the prompts here. The feature is cool. The feature is going in the right direction of basically letting us create outlines for our zaps for our workflows. What would be cool here? Because at the end of the day, it's beta. So let's just lean into beta heavily. Give me example chat GBT prompts that could be used in the caption. Give me example prompts that could be used in DALE. Uh, for example, let me go up to here, for example. So let's go to the trigger. Time of day. You provide me an example. Tell me. So if you want to trigger it at 11 a.m., choose 11 a.m. Basically, we get the access to the outline, but also just give us some context of possible variable points we could put into the data. I think that would really help this Copilot feature reach the next level as of right now, because it's much more of an outline feature rather than actually allowing us to build more complex flows. Because as we know, when creating a ChatGPT prompt user message, 
pretty complex. It isn't as simple as, you know, hello, how was your day? You want to add a bunch of context, parameter blocks. We learn about that a ton on this channel, but that kind of goes over to this point, the Copilot feature. I think this is an advancement of the AI prompt feature that we originally saw with Zapier. Now we can actually conversate with it, which is nice but I would want to see more additions in the context of what I just mentioned. So that just about does it. What do y'all think about the co-pilot feature? Yes, no. You kind of see where it's going though in the future. I definitely could see workflows becoming more advanced, which would help with co-pilot. But as of now, it seems much more of an outline. So that is a nice zap your playlist. That video may or may not be good. And that is my face in a llama sweater.